All right. Welcome, 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 everyone. Misha Wilson here. Incredibly excited for today's call here with uh, someone that I look up to in the marketplace, an absolute legend, someone who is the best in the world when it comes to affiliate marketing, a uh, ClickBank Platinum partner, someone who is literally, you know, at the very top of the rankings of ClickBank, literally the number one ClickBank earner in the world. And that is the one and only Robbie Blanchard here to go ahead and bring value to all of you guys. So Robbie, thank you so much for being here for my audience brother. I appreciate it. And uh, how are you today, my friend? Misha, I'm doing great, man. Always, uh, always a pleasure to talk to you, man. I know uh, one of the things I love is every time we talk and you, we send voice notes back and forth, uh, you always start with, hey, brother. I love that. Like it reminds me of... Uh, <laughs> Reminds me of like Hulk Hogan back in the day. <laughs> so, so that's awesome. Man. I love that. <laughs> awesome. Well, dude, I appreciate everything that you do for me. Uh, one thing that I'll say about Robbie is he's, you know, a super high performer and he competes at the highest level in the marketplace, but also he's always willing to give advice to fellow marketers and we go back and forth on stuff. And, uh, just a super open, transparent guy, provides a ton of value and does so to myself as well. So I'm here just like all of you guys to learn here with this interview. And uh, Robbie, before we dive into, you know, the content per se, just for the, you know, few, maybe one or two people in my audience who might not know who you are, just kind of give us a little bit of a backstory of who you are, where you came from, how you've kind of gotten here and what your journey looks like, brother. Yeah, great question. So uh, prior to, you know, becoming number one on ClickBank and prior to, you know, the success I've had as an affiliate, um, I was a personal trainer. I was a, a CrossFit gym owner. So I went to school for exercise and sports science and, uh, you know, became a personal trainer. And then I opened a CrossFit gym and uh, which is fine. I loved it, you know, but the problem is, that, you know, there's kind of a ceiling in terms of what you can make as a, a CrossFit gym owner. And uh, there was times where I was you know, struggling. It was like, you know, I ran out of uh, money before I ran out of month. And um, <laughs> that was always kind of tough for me. And and then in 2015, I, I started to see um, people that I knew who were starting to have success online. Um, and I went to, a, you know, I saw people like just, you know, doing really well and making, you know, six figures and seven figures. And I'm like, wow, like they have an online business. That's how they're able to have success. Like, okay, I need to do that. Two plus two is four. And so um, I, I started in 2015, I joined a mastermind at the time was, you know, very expensive for me being a gym owner. Uh, but I did it because I knew that, you know, this is something I wanted to do. So I created my first uh, product, which was a CrossFit product. And I put it on ClickBank. Uh, and it was like a, you know, $17 product, nothing crazy. And I went to uh, the mastermind event and I went to everybody in the mastermind and I said, Hey, you know, I have this awesome product I created. Like, can you guys promote it to your email list? Because email was the big thing back then. And uh, everybody that I talked to said, no, they would not promote it. <laughs> and so they wouldn't promote it because uh, every single um, person had a list that was uh, weight loss focused and my product was not weight loss specific. So nobody would promote it. So I said, man, this is not good. So, um, so that night I was in Miami uh, in my hotel room. I'm like, well, maybe I'll just set up a, a Facebook ad, right? Because I set up ads for my gym and that helped turn things around. So I ran a Facebook ad. I uh, went to bed and woke up the next day and I had checked my ClickBank account. And I made three sales and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. And I remember calling my parents and saying, hey, did you buy my product? Uh, and they said, what are you talking about? <laughs> and so, so I knew it wasn't my parents. I knew that someone in the world saw my ad on Facebook, clicked on it, went to my page, bought it, and I got paid. And to me, that was like, like magic, right? And so, um, so I started on that journey and then I got even smarter. I said, well, you know, I'm okay at creating products, but there are other people way better than me at creating products. So I'm going to promote their offers on ClickBank. And so that turned me into being an affiliate. So then I went from making a hundred dollars a day to then making a thousand dollars a day, then 10,000 and 50,000 and um, so on and so forth. And then in 2019, um, I ended up uh, becoming the number one affiliate on ClickBank um, and I generated over, I think it was, oh man, probably one, 1. 1.4, 1. 1.5 million that month. And, uh, it just, uh, it changed my life forever. And, um, and that's kind of been the, the, been the uh, journey for me. <laughs> that's awesome, man. I love it. I mean, you went over so much there that we can learn from just in your literal intro. Uh, one of the things that I picked up on is, you know, you essentially found this mastermind. You knew that you had to do it. You didn't have the money for it yet you still invested in it. And just kind of that resonates a ton with me. Cause back when I got started, I was a 23 year old kid. I had no money. And I found this mastermind, this coaching program that I needed to get started with. And I found a way to make it happen. Yep. And just for the audience in general, I find that it's, 
you're never in a perfect situation when you see that product, when you see that mastermind, when you see that thing that you know you need to do deep down. And the people who figure out how to do it in spite of not being in the perfect situation, the people who get resourceful in a time of limited resources are always the people who end up creating success and you're no different. And uh, also you just talking about your first sales kind of brings me back too, because it's funny, you get to a point where you're doing so much revenue, you get so used to it. And then you bring yourself back to that moment where you first made that, you know, $7, $17 sale. And it's just the coolest feeling in the world. And uh, it's awesome that you can give that to so many people. Cause I've seen so many of your students also in your advertisements and on your webinars, and they're so successful. And that's one of the huge differences that I think makes the difference with you is not only you are successful, but also your students. And uh, just want to give you a shout on a shout out on that front too, because it's awesome to see so many success stories in our industry, brother. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's been, uh, and to me, that's like the most exciting thing. It's, it's, it's one thing to have your own success, but what's even cooler is helping other people succeed. And so, you know, we were able to, over the past, you know, several years, I've helped over, over 14,000 uh, students and, and those students overall have done over a hundred million dollars in sales on ClickBank. Uh, as confirmed by click. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it's really, really cool to, to see. And, um, and the best thing is, is like people are, you know, they were just like me starting out. They had no, you know, a previous experience. Um, and they weren't tech savvy. They didn't, uh, you know, some of them, you know, literally didn't even know how to turn a, turn on a computer yep. <laughs> and, uh, and I had to walk them through that. But um, yeah, it's so cool to see people be able to, uh, you know, kind of go from, you know, where they are to where they want to be. And, 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 and the power of the internet is amazing that, uh, you know, it's, it's such an awesome time to be alive because it can, it can literally change your life um, in ways you can't even imagine. So I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for that, you know? Yeah, man, that's awesome. And another thing that I think makes you different compared to a lot of people out there is, and this is something that I take pride in too, before I launched my training company, I was an actual affiliate in multiple different opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, before you launched your training process, you were an affiliate specifically for ClickBank. And I know you've promoted offers in you know, dozens of different verticals and niches, just about anything out there that converts extremely well, which is actually slightly different, you know, from what I do on my end, our yep. people, you know, specifically promote opportunities, CPA offers, some mm -hmm. ClickBank sometimes, but uh, that's really cool and unique from your perspective. And so, I mean, I guess walk me through, man, teach, you know, pretend I'm that first, you know, brand new student on day one, trying to get started. I want to make my first sale on ClickBank, Robbie. What's the key to going on ClickBank, finding the right offer, filtering through the ones that won't convert, you know, setting up the right creative, like A to Z, what do I have to do, brother? Yeah, it's a great question. So, I mean, really the, the nice thing about, um, you know, kind of what, what I teach and what I teach my students is that you know, we keep it very simple, right? And I think that there's there's so much like complicated stuff out there. And I think that, um, I think simple always makes more money, right? So, yep. you know, for me, uh, what I teach my students is that we're not trying to find a, you know, obscure offer that's like, you know, on page 60 on ClickBank that like has some dust on it. You know, like we're, we're, try we're trying to find uh, an offer that is a top offer that everybody's promoting on uh, ClickBank, right? So, so for me, I, I tell my students, go into the ClickBank marketplace, uh, search for top offers. And then any of the offers that are on page one or page two, you're good to go. Um, most of those offers are going to be in like one of three categories. They're going to be in the, the health category, which could be a, a weight loss offer. It could be a diabetes offer. It could be a blood pressure offer. Um, those are all great to promote, especially weight loss, because let's face it, uh, everybody like on planet earth and in, in one shape way one, one point or another are going to want to lose weight right so yep. it makes it very easy to target that way um also uh, the longevity is there and the third thing is that no matter what's going on with the economy you know even if, if the economy's down or you're running to issues like people are still going to pay money to buy things that will help them lose weight right and that's just that's just the way it is because these are emotional responses emotional products uh, that you'll purchase from and so so that's the number one thing is, is find a, a high converting offer uh, we're not looking for like these small tiny niches you know like a basket weaving course or something like that we we want to go with the bigger the bigger niches because that allows us that consistency in our sales um, so that's the first thing um, the second thing I would say is that you know we always uh, create what I call our um, you know, these money pages, right? Or these like mini pages. And basically what it is, it's just a one page website. Um, some people call it a landing page. Um, and what we're doing is we're just basically taking what we see in that offer in terms of the, the video sales letter that sells the product. And we're just pulling out some of the uh, captivating hooks or um, kind of angles from that VSL and putting it onto the landing page. So, you know, you'd have like a, a curiosity based headline, 
Um, you'd have a attention grabbing image and then you'd have a nice big button that tells people to click to the VSL. Um, so that's one thing we create. And the nice thing about it is it's very easy to uh, create those. You know, some of those uh, pages have like less than 30 words on them, um, but they, they're they really easy to uh, to create, which makes it very, um, you know, kind of beginner friendly as well. Um, and then the third thing we do is you got to you got to find a traffic source that you want to, um, you know, get eyeballs to that mini page, right, or that money page. And so uh, a lot of people will try to go the route of like, you know, free organic traffic or things like that. And don't get me wrong, you can do that. And it's a much slower process. And, and yes, it, you can you can get sales from it. Um, but for me, I think paid traffic has always been like the the best thing, like in terms of scale. Um, and it's something you shouldn't be scared about. Um, you know, when, when you say the word paid traffic, people think, oh my gosh, I got to spend, you know, thousands of dollars per day right out the gate. And, and the answer is no, you don't have to do that. Uh, I mean, you can start for as little as $20 a day and, uh, and start from there. Uh, that's what I did when I first started. And, uh, you know, for me, there's there's two platforms I love. Facebook is a platform that um, you know has been kind of you know tested and proven. There's and there's some really you know awesome things you can do on Facebook. Um, and then YouTube. YouTube's another awesome uh, traffic source that we focus on as well. So so really, it just comes down to you know finding that winning offer, creating that page based off of that offer, and then you run the traffic you know through through Facebook or YouTube to that offer. Um, and that's one of the things that is is simple. Uh, the other thing that we do as well that um, kind of differentiates how we run our traffic is, you know, on that mini page, we don't collect any emails, right? So we don't have, we don't have people opt in. Um, I find that uh, you know, as a beginner, when you first start out, like you know, learning to run ads is is one thing you have to focus on. But then if you have to focus on how to email market, now you got two things you got to focus on, which can be tougher. Uh, also, I find that uh, if you're not good at email marketing, it can be really, uh, it can hurt your day one return on investment because we're trying to make money on day one with our ads. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's why we focus on, you know, just scaling up uh, without collecting emails. And that's a big one too. And, and and when I became number one on ClickBank, um, and I did that that month where I did, I think it was $1.4, $1.5 million, I didn't collect a single email. So, um, and that, that makes a, that's a, it's kind of like a counterintuitive what people think you need to do or, or, or taught, but, um, you know, we've had really good success with that. hundred percent. I love it. And look, I'll be the first to say that I always teach my people to collect email addresses. Sure. And so I think the lesson there is that there are different ways to ultimately get to the same end goal of mm -hmm. making money. Yep. And I always tell my students that the first thing you need to look at is yourself and figure out what your strengths are and ultimately play to your strengths. And like you said, if you're new, if you don't have any copywriting experience, if you're not good at sitting down and writing emails and get people to open and then click and engage, et cetera, that mm -hmm. can be very difficult. Um, I'm curious from my own perspective, what percentage of people do you find click through to the actual sales page from the simple one page lander? Yeah, great question. So, so there's a couple of metrics that we look for. So when people go from the Facebook ad or the YouTube ad to the landing page or the mini page, um, we're trying to get between seven to 12% of people, right? So if a hundred people see your ad, yep. seven to 12 of them should click over to the, the uh, mini page. And then from there, uh, we want to see at least 30% or higher go from the page to the actual offer. Got it. So if you have those two metrics, you're, you're, you're doing pretty good. Got it. And what's funny is that even though they're clicking, it's just a small little micro engagement. So a small yes equals a big yes. And you'll actually, you know, instead of coming at it from a place of scarcity where you're only going to get 30% through, you're going to yep. get the highest quality 30% through. And they've already said yes on a small level clicking through. So you're going to see higher sales conversions, I would guess at least, correct? Oh, for sure. Yeah. And, and the reason why you're able to do that is because like we don't, one thing I tell people is like we never our job is not to sell the product, right? Our job is to just create the curiosity around the product, right? And so telling a story. So all of our ads are very story-based or curiosity-driven uh, creatives, right? Uh, our landing page kind of expands on that curiosity. Um, and then by the time they're they're primed and ready to go to the actual offer, you know, they're ready to buy. Like, you know, I, I, I tell my students, don't, don't try to sell from the ad. Don't try to sell from the landing page. The reason why it's called the video sales letter is because that's what does the selling. So uh, that's, that's really important to do. And the other reason why we want to have that, that page in the middle there, and because some people will ask, well, why can't I run direct from the ad to the offer um, is because most of the time when someone's on YouTube or someone's on Facebook, like, you know, they, they don't have like a buyer's mindset, right? They're not yeah. like, you know, they're just kind of on there just to be on social there. media. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So we want to be able to change their mindset uh, into more of a buyer's mindset, which is why we have that page uh, that kind of bridges the gap between the ad to the offer. You know? 
Yep. The power of the preframe. I've yep. in slightly different contexts taught my audience all the same things that you're kind of saying right now. So Love this it. is awesome. And <laughs> I'm glad I'm providing value to my audience like you do too. <laughs> and uh, just kind of quick recap for everyone, health, wealth, relationships, you know, mm -hmm. not only are those the biggest markets, most profitable markets, I can second what Robbie said, they're also the most recession proof. So with everything going on in the world right now, we don't know what's happening next, right? In those markets, people will continue to buy over and over over and over again. And also from my own personal experience, look, there is a place for free traffic 100%. But if you are new, and if you're looking to get results quickly, I found that most people don't have the patience for free traffic to be completely and totally honest, myself included in that. And so I have to work on patience always. But uh, at the same time, if you want to start to get results fast, paid traffic is really the only way to go. And it's the only thing that's scalable. Uh, the mm -hmm. thing about free traffic is you can't scale or you can, I guess, theoretically, if you have a whole team, you're spending 50 grand a month on a team. But mm -hmm. that's tricky when you're first getting started. You can't just necessarily scale. All right, I'm going to do 15 hours of video today. Yeah. Where what I love about paid is when you figure it out and you're spending a thousand a day, mm -hmm. you can then bump it to 1500, then 2000. You can literally just scale your revenue through clicking a couple of buttons, which I'm sure that's how you did it when you hit that $1.5 million month. And yeah. uh, you couldn't have done that with free, which is awesome. No, for sure. Definitely not. And that's, and, and, and like, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll kind of say it again is like, don't be scared about paid traffic because a lot of people get intimidated by that. But, you know, I've had students, like one of the students that come to my, my mind is uh, her name's Stephanie. And so she didn't even know what ClickBank was when she first started and, and she started at $20 a day. Um, yep. and, then, and then within her first 30 days, she had her first thousand dollar day in sales. And so, um, and she started at that, that low $20 and just trying to, you know, figure it out as you go along and scaling up slowly. And so the nice thing about that is as you start to make money on your ads, like you can now reinvest that back into your advertising to help scale up. And so that's the, uh, the beauty of it. And the, the thing I love about um, this particular kind of system is like just the setup, like in terms of like upfront costs, it's very, very minimal. Like when I started my gym uh, way back when my CrossFit gym, man, yeah. I, I mean, it, I probably had to output in terms of build out and equipment, you know, probably $200,000 I had to put out just to, just to build it. And that's before I even had, you know, membership come in and, and all that. And then, you know, and even with that type of uh, upfront costs, like there's a, there's a ceiling to the amount of income you can make as, as a gym owner. Right. Uh, yeah. Whereas here, I mean, you know, for less than a thousand bucks, I mean, 500 bucks, you can get up and running and then, and then build a thing that can generate, you know, literally tens of thousands of dollars a, a, a day in some cases, or, or at least a month. I mean, that's, that's pretty, pretty amazing, you know, which I love about it. Yeah. <laughs> I think we get spoiled sometimes in the online world where it's like, God, I don't want to pay the $10,000 for that mastermind, or I don't want to I buy know. that $2,500 product where it's like, if we're in the real world and real business, that's yeah. such peanuts compared to, you know, literally anything else. And like you said, mm -hmm. a couple hundred thousand dollars out of pocket, just to get up and off the ground before you get a single customer in. And so yeah. it all depends on perspective. So guys, whenever you're looking at buying a course, joining a program, et cetera, put it through that lens. And uh, then it just comes down to applying yourself too. As long as you're following the right people, buying from the right people like Robbie, I know for a fact that if you apply yourself and do the work and are diligent in doing the work, there's no reason you can't see insane returns compared to the investment. So I love it. And uh, you've provided a ton of value so far here today. Your students I know are getting amazing results as well. I've kind of gotten a little sneak peek of something that's super cool that you have coming around the corner. I don't know if you want to give a sneak peek of it here, or just kind of uh, talk about something you have coming, but you know, the AI wave has not only started, it is pretty much here. And I think one thing for us as marketers, you know, we've realized that if we can get in front of trends instead of behind trends, it makes our life so much easier. So I know you're actually putting something together for your students in order to do that with AI. And yeah. uh, can you just kind of at least, Give us a little sneak peek, maybe, or talk about it a bit. <laughs> well, as far as a sneak peek, I can't. I got to stick to my guns, and, and I got to. Uh, right. I got to hold off. Uh, but uh, I, I will be doing a uh, an actual workshop where I'll be doing like a full on blown demo of everything we got going. On. I mean, and and guys, I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere that Michelle will put where you guys can register for that. But uh, but yeah, so one of the things that um, I've realized over the past couple of years, uh, being an affiliate and doing what I do, um, is that I kind of sat down. and I'm like, man, like there's a lot of you know, it's a very simple uh, process. It's really not that hard once you get into it. But 
Uh, how cool would it be to like take all this manual work in terms of like creating pages or having to, you know, write your copy yourself or learn how to write copy, how to create ad images. Uh, how cool would it be to have some sort of like an AI type of software that can literally just generate that stuff for you um, and learn. So like the more you use it, the better it gets in terms of what it, what it outputs. And so, you know, I got to work with my, my team of developers and, and over the last you know, probably six to eight months, we've been working on some pretty cool, you know, software that, uh, uh, that does just that. And so um, it's it's pretty amazing because aside from like, you know, like running the, like actually setting up the ads, like we've got it to the point where literally everything else is essentially done for you. Um, and so I'm, I'm super, super pumped about this because, you know, the system like, and you know, when I said my students have done over a hundred million dollars on ClickBank, like that's before this software was even developed, right? So I think with this, it's going to just kind of skyrocket everything else in terms of results, which which is really cool. And so, yeah, so there's there's a ton of stuff we we put into this kind of uh, the software, and, and I'm going to do a full demo and uh, on on a free workshop that I'll be holding a little bit later on. But yeah, it's going to be really cool. And then um, there's also like kind of uh, I'm kind of calling it like Project Platinum, right? Because there's like a there's a system behind the whole thing that we're doing. And the nice thing about it, and the reason why I'm calling it, you know, kind of Project Platinum, is because um, on ClickBank, when you reach platinum, that means you've done two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a single year in sales on ClickBank. And so, um, uh, in in terms of ClickBank, there's I think there's six hundred six hundred fifty people that have reached ClickBank Platinum. Um, well, over two hundred of them are my students, <laughs> and so uh, I've been able to. Um, you know, kind of take that. And my goal this year is to help as many people as possible get to that ClickBank Platinum level, because not only is it super cool, you get to go to like the ClickBank Platinum event in Costa Rica or Mexico, wherever they have it. But the most important thing is like when you reach that $250,000 in sales, like what it does for your life, right? Like what it does in terms of like, you know, no longer having to like go into the grocery store and like look yeah. at the prices and see which one you want to buy or, you know, go into the gas station, like, you know, I, like little things that, you know, not, we're not talking about like crazy things, but like little things that make a difference, you know, um, like my dad, he'll be like, oh, did you see the price of gas today? Yeah. No, I didn't. I just really went and I bought it. Exactly. <laughs> didn't even yeah. notice. Right. And so, and, and I think that's something that everybody can get to, right. Even just little things like that makes a big difference where um, now with all the uncertainty going on, you got, you know, inflation stuff, like, you know, being in a position where you can generate um, income online um, using something like this uh, really just to, not only does it change your life, but, but those around you. And that's kind of my, my passion. And so that's why I'm really excited about this, uh, you know, this upcoming workshop. Yeah, me too. And I mean, you said a couple of profound things, profound things there. Firstly, you know, just the fact that it doesn't need to be making a million dollars, like literally, mm -hmm. you can just have enough money to get through the month comfortably, you know, mm -hmm. so it's not like, all right, I got too little money at the end of the month type of situation, like you were referencing yeah. at the very beginning. I know a lot of people just love that. And then also what I would say is that when it comes to artificial intelligence, I know a lot of people that I've talked to are really freaked out by it. Mm -hmm. And what I would say was when it comes to technology, one of two things can happen. You can either embrace it and instead of being panicked by it, embrace it, learn it, use it, implement it, and learn how to use it essentially to benefit you, or you can essentially be left behind by it. And I think we're at this moment in time right now where it feels like we finally kind of hit critical mass where AI is here. And now everyone has to kind of figure out what boat they're in, right? Are they going to get left behind by it or are they going to use it? And I myself will most definitely be on that workshop that you're hosting because I need to definitely use it. And we have some copywriters on the team who are using it now. And I'm always looking to level up with my game. And what I would encourage each and every single person who's watching this interview to kind of look at this as is as a massive opportunity to tap into maybe like the single most powerful thing the human species has ever seen. And I know that sounds like insane hyperbole and in a certain context, it probably is. But at the same time, when you think about artificial intelligence and literally being able to have a computer write for you, get smarter for you, do work for you, continually improve for you. It's just completely mind blowing. And then using that to make money for you, it's like out of this world. So Robbie, I'm incredibly excited about the uh, workshop that you're going to be hosting. For everyone on this call, there'll be a button below this video or in the email that I used to send you to this video. So make sure you go ahead and get registered for that workshop. I 100% will be on there learning from Robbie as well, because I'm super excited for what you have coming up. And uh, hell, I want to be at the Platinum event for the <laughs> ClickBank Platinum Affiliates 100%. And uh, that will be awesome. 
And again, man, thank you for coming out. Thank you for sharing value. Is there any kind of, of final words for the audience? Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing is like, you know, is if you're if you're not having if you're not where you want to be in life, I think the, the number one thing is you have to take like extreme ownership of your success. Like I'm a big believer that like, you know, if you if you succeed, it's it's your fault, right? If you fail, it's your fault. And so if you're in a position like if you're watching this interview and you're not where you want to be in life, like you know, look in the mirror and say, okay, why, why is it that I'm not where I want to be, right? Or, or maybe you're in a position where you've been thinking about, geez, I, I've always wanted to, you know, have income online and you just, you've always talked about it, but you've never done it, right? And so, you know, I would encourage you to kind of get out of your comfort zone and just take extreme ownership of your success and, and, uh, and, and come to the workshop, right? Because in the workshop, I'm going to show you, you know, not only the, uh, you know, the AI stuff that we've built, but also show you how this whole system works. I'll actually show you uh, real examples of real people that, uh, you know, are just like you that have been able to have incredible success and, and change their lives in ways they couldn't even imagine. Um, you know, one of those people I can tell you is uh, this, my student, Kenny. So Kenny was a um, he's from the Philippines and he used to work uh, as a VA for a dollar a day. Right. Um, and then uh, he moved to Canada. Uh, he tried to start an online, uh, another online business. He went forty thousand dollars in debt. Uh, then he joined my program. Right. And, and started doing my system and following the way we taught him. Um, and then he had a $40,000 week, <laughs> right? So, and, and he was able to do over seven figures this past year. He had ClickBank Platinum as well. Um, and he changed his life, right? And so, um, but it's all because he took action. He got after it. He made it happen. And that's, that made a big, big difference in his life. And I know that uh, if people like Kenny can do it and uh, people from all around can do it, then I know that you can do it too. So yeah. And also on the, on the workshop too, we'll be giving away some cash prizes some other cool stuff as well. So uh, it'll be like an awesome fun event. And so, uh, but more importantly, if you want to have success online and you uh, have been kind of putting it off or you want to take things to the next level, then uh, you know, this will be the workshop you want to be on for sure. Awesome. I love it. And guys, if you keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result, that's the definition of insanity. And so if you aren't where you want to be right now, let's get you on the workshop, learn from Robbie, implement Robbie's system, and uh, good things will happen. So Robbie, once again, thank you so much for coming out, my friend. I appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to the workshop, brother. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> All right.